course. In my first video for introducing Scratch to you, I had explained the basic interface of Scratch such as uh, the coding blocks, the workspace where you actually make your program, the area where you can see your game or animation at work, the sprite area and the stage area where you have all the backdrops or backgrounds of your game or animation. Now, another important thing to know about Scratch is that how can you share your marvelous, fantastic projects with other people? How can you tell them about your great Scratch programming projects? So the way to go about is that first, remember that you have to join Scratch. And uh, from joining Scratch, it doesn't mean just providing a name, or a username or uh, and your age, etc. It also means that you have to confirm your account because when you provide that um, your, your parents or your own email address, an email is sent to that account and you have to confirm that uh, uh, email to tell them that okay this this account is uh, legal um, and um, uh, uh, this is important for sharing it with other people okay so how to go about it first uh, you have to have a name for your project for example remember we did this um, animating the animating ben uh, the name ben in in our first video uh, for scratch so i named it animate pen okay so remember that whenever you make a new project it is better to name it otherwise it scratch will give it a default name like untitled number one or untitled number two something like that so it is better to name it uh, for yourself and for others uh, to know what is to give them a basic idea of what is inside the game Okay, so just name it. So I've named it animate. Uh, I've named it animate pen, and then you click on this orange button which say, which says share. So just share, and here uh, see it saying uh, congratulations on sharing your project. Other people can now try it out, give comments, and remix it. So this is uh, something uh, interesting about Scratch that um, when you uh, share it, other people can actually see your code. And they can then remix it, they can add some new things to it and you know, customize it. This is where you tell in the, in the instructions, you tell that if, if it is a game or a project, if it is something about animating, then you tell here that what people have to do to try out your animation or your game. For example, uh, I should tell that when you click on B, something will happen and when you click on E, something will happen, etc. And how do you share it? You share it by clicking here on the copy link. So here it says copy link. You don't have to actually select it and then uh, copy it. It automatically copies it if you just click on this link. See, and you go to Facebook or Insta or your email and just paste this, paste this link there, okay? So, and then you will be able to share it and other people, when they click on this link, they will be taken to exactly this page. Make it full screen and play your animations. Okay. See, it's so easy to share it with other people, okay? And it's so amazing to see it in full screen, right? Okay. See inside will take us inside that code. Okay, so what to do now? Now, um, another important thing I wanted to tell you was that um, you can change the language here. For example, uh, if you want it to be in Arabic, you can do this alarbia. And see, it's in Arabic now. Another thing which I wanted to tell you was that you can save this project to your uh, computer by saving it save to your computer and then it will see it it has been downloaded here okay and uh, wherever your uh, files are downloaded it will be there 
and um, if i want to open a project which i had previously saved uh, on my computer then the way to go about it is that you go to file and then you load from your computer and for example i have this cat moving file this sp3 uh, extension is for scratch files and you just click on open it will ask me that do you want to replace contents of the current project because this project will be replaced so i have no problem with that because i've already saved it so i will just click on okay and this is a cat project which i was working on so another interesting thing i wanted to teach you today was how to um, move things around your sprites that is uh, on the on the screen uh, when you press the um, the arrow keys on your keyboard for example uh, most of the games uh, they have this up arrow down arrow right arrow left arrow for moving characters on the screen so i will be just uh, giving you a glimpse of what scratch can do and obviously uh, one video cannot be enough to explain all the intricate details of it and um, uh, we will be working more on animations later in in the later videos but this is just a basic idea of how you can start uh, moving your objects or your sprites i'm sorry on screen okay so first let's start a new project file go to file and then press new so i have this new uh, file this is the default settings with with scratchy the cat here so i will just delete it because i wanted to animate uh, move around uh, a crab okay so i have this crab here and if you can see it has two costumes so what are costumes basically each sprite can have more than one look for example this is look number 1 it has its pincers closed and then it's this is look number 2 with the pincers open see so um why do we have two costumes for the same sprite this is needed when we are making cartoons and we have to uh, uh um make them move around and obviously they're not just going to move around in just one form uh they will be doing something their legs may be moving or their pincers may be opening and closing so this is a very simple uh two costume um, sprite that it has the pincers closed and it has the pincers open okay so if just look if i do it rapidly so this adds a little bit of fun to your projects when you see some kind of animation in it okay so i'm going to go to code choose your sprite and then go to your code this is your area where you will be doing the actual programming so let's start with an event because we need an event so what is the event that when space key pressed but in the case instead of space we will be doing an up arrow okay and when the up arrow is clicked what should it do it should go to the we have to choose it from the motion because we have to make it move we have to change y by 10 okay so this was another important thing that this is this like horizontally if you look at it if you if you imagine a line um this is the x axis okay so if you move here then you are adding something to x if you move to the left you are subtracting something from x and this is the y axis i don't know whether you have done graphs by now but you have the x axis and the y axis in graphs there too and the horizontal horizontal line represents the x axis and the vertical line represents the y axis so if you make x po positive if you if you add a, a positive number to x you will make the sprite go towards the right okay and if you um, 
uh, subtract something from x then it will move towards the left and so is the case with y to move the sprite up you have to change y by a positive number and if to make it move down you have to change y by a negative number so if just look at this if i just try the code i'm pressing the up arrow key now and you can see it is moving up see so simple okay so let's do it for the down arrow event space key pressed choose the down arrow and change y by minus 10 okay so let's try it up up down down oh but that is another problem because it's something it's doing a back backward walking we don't want that so what should we do we should uh in the in the motion the blue uh, the blue blocks and this is the correct direction minus 90 okay okay now we have to put this because like this has now changed uh, its direction so we have to to put the correct direction here too and this is 90 okay okay so let's try our code see it's going up going down okay so another thing uh, is uh, that how to make it look as if it's opening and closing its pincers while uh, moving up and down so what can we do we can put like before this uh, change y by 10 what we can do is we can switch its costume for a little bit of time so that it looks as if it is also you know moving it's uh, opening and closing its pincers while moving up and down so what can we do let's see what we have to do is that we're going to put it here so that it it's it steps a little bit up then there's a delay and then it changes its costume to the next costume which is in the list we only have two costumes so it will be rotating between those uh, two costumes uh, only and then we take the last step okay okay another thing was uh, that you can actually if you like this you want this exact thing so you can even copy it just uh, right click on it and duplicate we'll stay by so uh, now look at what's going to happen so this is only that the animation the the opening closing pincers as you can see is only in the up arrow and it's not in the down arrow yet okay so let's see do you see now when it's coming down there's no animation and when it's going up there's some animation like it's getting ready to grab something to eat oh uh it's, needs a little bit of color so let's add a backdrop an underwater one and see now this looks so beautiful now see and you can do similarly you can do it for right arrow and left arrow and uh, the important thing is that you have to be careful with the directions which you can uh, try and test uh, whether it's pointing in the right direction and you have to uh, change the y's by x because when we are uh, moving to right and left we will be doing uh, on the this horizontally the, the, the movements will be horizontal horizontal so we will not be using y for right and left arrow we will be using x okay and you can also uh, add a, add a delay and the next costume here so that you have the pincer opening closing in the down arrow too this is about it um, i hope you like this video i have explained uh, how to share your projects how to save them on your own computer how to load them and um, how to uh, move a sprite uh, up uh, using the up down right and arrow uh, right left arrow keys and how to add a little bit of animation to it to make it more interesting so in my next videos we will be exploring more of scratch 
uh, we will be animating more we will be making actual games uh, in which scores are being maintained so we will be having a lot of fun with scratch so keep on uh, checking out my videos um, on my youtube and my facebook thank you and goodbye Thank you.